And today we have a brand new episode of Morphal to check out. So let's see it. Morphal, morph into a fire truck. Look, Troy, do you want to take a ride in a real fire truck? Hmm. That's not a real fire truck. My big brother Gerben is a firefighter. And I can take a ride whenever I want. Ah, an emergency. Now Morphle can see what a real fire truck can do. Sounds like a Got this, man. Huh? There you go. We brought your cat to safety. There's a building on fire on the other side of the city. Uh, we're faster. Oh no, this fire is too big. We can't do this by ourselves. Let's work together. A flying fire truck! Wow! It's wonderful to have some help from a magic pet! Morphle, would you be interested in joining me at the fire department from now on? Uh, Morphle no can. Uh, Morphle me la pet. You know, firefighter Gerbin, I think I know the perfect magic pet for you. Aquily, help your new human companion. to a giant dump truck. Great. This giant Ophilus is way too big to fit in my magic pet delivery van, but this giant dump truck is perfect. Okay, bring the giant Ophilus to the junkyard. That's where his new companion lives. But 
be careful, because the giant Ophelus can be very playful. Okay, Daddy. The giant Ophelus is so big. Smash it! <laughs> no! That's my car! You are under arrest! Please don't arrest him, police officer Freeze! He didn't mean to steal your car. He just really likes playing with cars. Yes, that's why I can use him here on the junkyard. Well, I guess that's a fine place for him then. As long as he doesn't cause more trouble in my city. <laughs> the nerve. Can you believe this? No. Oh, what a day. Oh, what a day. Besides, I don't think I even have a jail cell big enough for him. Oh, no. I'm late for the official start of the election of mayor. Morphle, morph into a car. Oh, thank you, Mila and Morphle. With this sapper that we stole from Professor Rashid, we can sap anyone into a deep sleep. Huh? And with the mayor asleep, no one can stop us from winning the elections. <laughs> <laughs> We are helping Mayor. Hmm. I have an idea. This chain of office will be given to the next mayor. And just like every year, the only candidate is the mayor. But where is he? We will be the new mayors. The mayor bandits. Get it, Stein? <sighs> when we become the new mayor, we promise free video games for everyone! <laughs> Wait! Huh? <laughs> it's me, the mayor. When I become the new mayor again, I promise everyone gets ice cream! Running a great campaign, Mr. Mayor. Cleaner beaches are exactly what this city needs. Huh? What's that? We will really clean up the beaches. <laughs> Oh, no! Wow! 
That was amazing, Mr. Mayor. Wow, the mayor is planting more trees. This is exactly what the people want. We will cut down his new trees. Yeah, with these giant scissors. <laughs> Saved us once again, Mr. Mayor. And the elections are this afternoon. The winner of the election and the city's new mayor is... The Mayor! <sighs> huh? Look, kids, a dolphin. How could a field trip to the ocean get any better than this? Morphle, morph into a bus that can dive underwater. Look over there. It's a school of fish. Oh, and over there, jellyfish. And a whale. And, uh, <clears throat> well, hello, miss. No, wait, miss. Ah, oh, a shark. We need to get out of here. Move around it, Morphle. Oh my, this place is dangerous. We should go back. Oh no, it's the sea giant. Who are you calling a sea giant, you tiny little man? I am Neptune, king of the sea. Hi, Neptune. We're on an underwater school trip. We were having a lot of fun until a shark showed up. Oh, that guy? He's not so scary. <laughs> but he's gone now. So let me help you by making this the best school trip ever. Is that safe? Safe as can be. Go ahead. Okay, here I come. <laughs> oh, thank you, Neptune, for making this trip the best. Yes, unforgettable. My pleasure. Come visit me anytime. Okay, Morphle, it's story time! Once upon a time, there was a mama duck whose eggs were about to hatch. When they did, little baby ducks came out. All of them 
were super cute and fluffy. Except for one of the ducklings. It was different. Because it was big and red. And it didn't have any feathers. And instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I visit the king! It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly and they made fun of it. Me. Yes, the brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So sad that it flew off to play by itself. And when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no. Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. Oh, yeah! That's a good idea! So, the dino duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And they were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Yeah! And the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. And they lived happily ever after. The end. are after a treasure. Let's show them how it's done. <laughs> hey, the Sky Pirates want the shell necklace. Hmm, it must be valuable. Get it back, Pirate Phil. Morph into a dragon! Hey, 
Hey, this is just a shell necklace. But it doesn't matter. If Phil and Maurice want it, they can't have it. <laughs> Look, those oxygen breathers are after a treasure. But we are the number one pirates in the universe. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> Suits you right. Sea pirates are the only real pirates. <laughs> You were always like this. We will never grow the industry if we don't innovate. How are you deciding who's a real pirate anyway? Your partner doesn't even have a pirate accent. Wow, <sighs> that hurt. home, Morphle, and leave them to their bickering. I have a feeling this goes way deeper than just your shell necklace. You call that a ship? I laugh at your 16th century technology. <laughs> oh, so it's a fist fight you want. <laughs> Put up your dukes. Put up your dukes. Can we just... Thank you, Morphle. It's finished. With my latest invention, you will be able to morph just like Morpho. Cool! I'm the cat! <laughs> <laughs> now you can't catch me! <laughs> Fixed in no time. Mila! Morph into Mila! <laughs> you can have this back, Professor 
Sheep. From now on, I'll leave the morphing up to Morphle. What's that? Oh no! My livelihood caught on fire! <laughs> Morphle! Morph into a fire truck! Oh, thank you so much, Mila and Morphle. I have no clue how that fire started. What's that sound? Oh, no. The cornfield caught on fire, too. It's popcorn everywhere. Oh. What on earth is causing all these fires? <laughs> Look, it's a dragon. It caught the flu and it's sneezing. Fire. And it's heading for the city. Uh-oh. After it, Morphle. There, big fella. I've got some medicine for you. have his magic powers back in 10 seconds. This is Nully. He's a new magic pet I have. He can temporarily take away the powers of other magic pets. That's why I can't keep it with the other magic pets in the magic pet store. Will the two of you watch it for me? Of course, Daddy. We can play hide and seek together. Okay, see you later. Did you hear that? With this new magic pet, we can finally defeat Morpho. <laughs> oh no! Morpho, morph into a giant robot! <laughs> Not this time! Where are they? Mm, that fridge is very red, don't you think? Zap it! Oh, we found you! Run, Morpho! To something to hide with again. Morpho, no can it morph yet. Oh no, we have to wait. <laughs> now we've got you. Morpho, 
morph into a... <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Mirror! <laughs> now Nelly won't be able to use his magic powers for ten seconds. <gasps> oh, no! Morphle, morph into a giant robot. Oh, Monster Rock! Ah! Get me out of here! <laughs> Morphle, morph into a hot air balloon! Let's go, Morphle! Wow! This is the most extraordinary school presentation I've ever seen. But you still haven't told us what it's about. It's about... the animals of the jungle. Wow! wow. <laughs> Look, what animal do you guys think this is? Uh, oh no, is that a snake? <laughs> it's a cute monkey! Monkey! Hey! Another monkey! <gasps> Hello there! Do you want to come out and play too? Morph into a tiger, too! Ah! Wow! Whew. Thank you, Morph. That was close! We've learned that the animals of the jungle are fun, but sometimes they can also be a little bit scary. Mila, this was the most interesting school presentation I have ever seen. An A+. Yay! <laughs>